Hey. 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 Alright. Alright. Yo, yo, calm down, bro. Yo, what the fuck are you doing? I'm waking you up. So you shoot me? You're gonna shoot me with is that a banana? You just shoot me with a banana? Listen, bro. Like, who the hell are you? My name is Man God. What kind of a dumb name is that? Listen, I don't really think you should be dissing me. Because you do realize we are the same person, right? Huh? We don't even look the same. Okay, 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 relax, relax, relax. What do you want? I'm just here to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And you're supposed to be making a video on tires. And you're sleeping. So, what do you have to say? You're right. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't. Now, don't apologize to me. Apologize to the viewers. I just want to apologize. I know I shouldn't be sleeping, but like, what can I say? I'm just a little tired. So it's finally starting to get a little bit warmer. Well, probably in other countries at least, because here in Canada, it's like this one day and this the other. <sighs> I swear we're all gonna die soon. But the idea is it is gonna get warmer soon and people are gonna want to switch out their winter tires and get summer tires. And if you don't know what your tire size is, my job in this video is going to be to show you guys how to find your tire size and to break it down so you know what your tire size actually represents. So a few spots you could check. One is you can check your owner's manual and you can find the tire size in there. You can open up your driver's door. Usually there's a sticker inside called a tire placard and that also shows you your tire size or if the tires that are already on your car are the correct size you could look at the tire on the sidewall and there should be the tire size designation that's what I'm gonna break down with this tire so we're gonna look at that so with a tire down like this you have the sidewall of the tire which is this portion right here and you're gonna find a lot of information on this but the information that we want is right here this is the tire size now it's gonna look a little bit different for other tires that are manufactured in different countries but this is like the American standard and this is how you're gonna find it. So I'm gonna break down this right here, all these numbers and letters. I know it might look a little bit confusing to a few people who might not know how to read their tire size, but by the end of this video, you're gonna understand this and it's gonna be very simple. Now, usually there will be a letter before all of these numbers and that letter sometimes will be a P, which stands for passenger vehicle. It may be a different letter, which will just represent other things, which the tire is supposed to be suitable for. So if it's a P, the tire is gonna be suitable for passenger vehicles. So the first number that we got Got is 205. Let's learn about 205. 205 represents the cross sectional width of your tire. So this is 205, baby. So basically, in millimeters, it's 205 millimeters across from one side to the other. This represents the width of your tire. Now, here's a different tire. Remember that first number? This one's 225. So it's not 205, it's 225. So look at this. Look at that, 205, 225. This is bigger because it's 20 millimeters wider than that. Next, 6D. We're gonna learn about 6D. This is called your aspect ratio. This is a percentage. So 60, that's 60%. I'll show you what 60% is. So look at this. Remember we were talking about this? You know what this was? 205, so 205, what's 60% of that? I don't know. But 60% of it is this. The height of your tire, okay? This from here to the tread, okay? That's 60% of how wide your tire is. So like 60% is this much of your tire? That's this portion right here. Then you have an R, now you got a letter. See now this R represents, subscribe to my YouTube channel or I'll run you over. No, I'm just joking, don't, don't take me serious a lot of the times. This stands for radial. This is the construction of your tire, okay? This letter right here, that represents the construction, how your tire is built. Radial tires, they have layers that are right on top of each other. You might see a B, which is bias 
belted. You might see a D, which is bias diagonal, which means the material is at an angle when it's layered on top of each other. But this right here is an R. That stands for radial. And so that's what that R represents. Now after all this, you have a 16. Now this 16 represents the diameter of the rim. It's going to tell you what diameter rim this tire is suitable for. The diameter of that rim that goes in here should be 16 inches. This is an 18 inch rim. This is clearly too big. Do not use this. Use the right rim size. But on this tire, the rim diameter is 18. So now I can use this rim. I can put this here. See now this rim is gonna fit this tire. So use the right rim for your tires. So after all this, we pretty much covered the main dimensions that you wanna know for your tire. But this right here, this portion, you still need to know this because that is still a part of the tire size. This makes up the load index and the speed rating. So let's talk about load index. That's this 92 that you see here. So this 92 represents the load carrying capability of this tire. And so what that means is how much load the tire can handle. Right, you don't want to put a weak tire on a really heavy car. So the load index, so that 92 will tell you exactly how much load this tire can handle. And that would be 630 kilograms or 1,389 pounds. It even shows the maximum load right here on the sidewall too. 630 kilograms, 1,389 pounds. Now you might be confused and think, oh, my car is way heavier than 1,300 pounds or 630 kilograms, but your suspension system takes up most of the weight of your vehicle so your tires don't have to have all that load on it. But one thing you want to make sure is if you're replacing your tires, you want to have the same grade rating for your load index or a better grade. You never go lower with your load index grade. See this other tire is bigger. Its load index is 102 and that means it can handle more weight. See maximum load? 850 kilograms, 1,874 pounds, which makes sense. Bigger tire can handle more load. Smaller tire can't handle as much. And then finally, the last character we have is this S. Now this S represents subscribe. The S is your speed rating. It's gonna be a letter. In this case, this S means that you cannot drive faster than 180 kilometers an hour or 112 miles per hour because the tire is not meant to be driven faster than that. Every tire is gonna be a little bit different. Some are gonna be more durable, stronger. So they are gonna be able to handle all that heat when you are driving really fast. So don't be that person out in the streets trying to race people with L-rated tires that can only go 112 kilometers an hour. I mean, you're just gonna take the L. Hey, what happened? So don't do that. So that's how you can find your tire size and also what your tire size represents. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you did learn something. Share with your family or friends if they want to know about tire sizes. Make sure to like, subscribe, check me out on Snapchat, check me out on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.